Well, after finishing all the songwriting for a period of, I don't know, one year maybe, I started with the pre-production stage, with the first demos, the first recordings, in which I have the pleasure to work with Gorka Elsa from Diabolus in Musica. He helped me with all the orchestrations. It was great to, to work with him, with Gorka. I've learned a lot. So at the end, I was very happy with the pre-production. So after maybe four months, I've moved to the production stage and I started looking for the musicians to do the final recordings. Well, there were some changes on the lineup, the original idea I had for it, because I invited Alex Holzwar, my long-term friend, to take part of the album as a drummer. He couldn't make it, so he recommended Michael, Michael Ere, a great guy. I was very happy and I, I am very happy with the final result, although I wrote all the basic patterns for the drums. He just nailed all the all the songs. He just added his magic to the to the drum parts. He also contributed with ideas, which is great. So I am blessed to have him on the album. After contacting Michael, after setting everything up with him for the drums, I had to make another change on my original idea because I invited my friend Oliver Holtzwart to take care of the bass my long-term time friend who participated on many of my projects and he couldn't make it so I had to move on and look for another musician to cover the bass. I ended up inviting Anis Jowini from Myrath, a great guy, has a perfect performance skill, contributed a lot to the album. Although I always write all the, the basic lines, he just turned all the lines into gold. It's fantastic. I am really happy with the with his performance and contributions. Well, after overcoming the, the issue with the drums and bass, and I say issue because I had to change my original idea. Fortunately, it had a happy ending <laughs> with Ennis and Michael. So I remember feeling ready to move to look for a guitar player. Suddenly, I remembered a guy who I was following from a long time, even before he entered on the lane. If I remember correctly, he was like 15 years old or something like that. And I say, whoa, this guy is great. I hope someday I can work with him. <laughs> the magic happened. And I started talking with him, introducing my project to him inviting to to participate on the album and he finished all the recordings in one week that's crazy because there is a lot of guitar work on the album and he finished all the overdubs all the riffs all the melodies melodic lines i wrote for him and also the solos i must say that the highlight one of the highlights on the album are the are timo's solos what can i say about ronnie that is not already known <laughs> Nothing. I think the best description to, to his voice, to him, is fire. Just that, fire. <laughs> He's amazing, to be honest. And I had the chance to, to know a part of his personality as well, not only as a musician, but as a person, that immediately made me respect him even more and be grateful with him he just helped me a lot. Honestly, I can be more grateful with him. So at the end, I think this album, Arcanum, is pure magic. We've achieved with the guys the final and ultimate stage of the alchemy, which is turning stone into gold. And that is what I feel and I think about the songs. We've made a great work with the songs to make it perfect because that is what I feel, what I think about the album, that is perfect. It's the best production I've ever made and I'm so happy and proud and also thankful. So I must say thank you to the guys, all who participated. Suber Osnar is my longtime friend also because she contributed with operatic vocals, female vocals along the album and also uh, the master Sasha Paeth, which is, uh, I don't know, we all know who is Sasha Paeth. <laughs> so I'm very happy with the mixing, the mastering, the whole process, 
So <laughs> I just have to say thank you, a big thanks to all who were part of the album, to all of you, thank you very much. And I can't wait to, for you to have the album on your hands. And at the end, the album Arcanum belongs to you and not to me. <laughs>